In the Haggadah uh, Kiddush, you have Zaman Herutenu. And uh, in Galatians chapter 5, verse 1 in the Orthodox Jewish Bible, you have Zaman Herutenu. So in a way, every day is Pesach. Because every day we have to stand fast and be not again bound by any yoke of slavery or bondage. And if you can see this here, if the word Zaman and the word Herutenu is found both in Galatians 5.1 and Galatians 5.13. And uh, that was exactly the problem uh, that uh, was going on there because uh, you see, Moshe, Moshe Rabbeinu, when he was raised, he was raised free in Pharaoh's palace, and he stood fast before Pharaoh, never again to be bound by a yoke of slavery. And you know what? People are enslaved. They are bound by things. And we, we want to we wanna, we wanna be free, and we want the Pesach... Uh, Haggadah, uh, you know, uh, Demos in love with this passing world has deserted me. The world, we're talking about the world, the ungodly pull uh, that will seduce you, it will pollute you. Uh, if it's your friend, it will make you an enemy of God. It, it wars against the immortal soul. The world is bondage. The world uh, is an enslaver. Amen. You have to stand fast against it. Uh, and uh, Pharaoh was an enslaver who loved his slaves. And uh, he wanted to keep them right where they were. Like a gold digger loves her sugar daddy or these guys that come into the nursing home and they look for somebody who seems to be on his way out and then they seduce that person with all kinds of talk until they get the POA, the power of attorney, and then they've got them captured. It's like just uh, throw the ashes from the funeral home out the window and pocket whatever's left because you've uh, made a claim on them. And uh, listen, friend, you have to come to the lamb because Egypt is still in your heart and you you are in bondage to the world until the lamb takes over uh, the lamb is the center of the Pesach never forget that and uh, that's what I want to talk about I want to talk about uh, the bondage uh, the evil persuasion of the false teachers who want to cut people off from the true freedom and put them in bondage to them I'm going to talk about uh, bondage uh, being unequally yoked with unbelievers, bondage to the world, which is the present evil age, bondage to the Jerusalem below, bondage to a perverted uh, Besurus Hageolah that isn't a true gospel, bondage to the curse of the Torah, bondage to a curse uh, of seeking justification by, by gazettes, by legal means, uh, bondage to Gehinom, bondage to false brethren, bondage to to those who say the Goyim cannot be saved unless the rabbis administer bris milah with uh, uh, targyag obligation. That means uh, uh, tav 400, resh 200, yod 10, gemel 3, obligation bondage to uh, the entire Torah. Uh, without, without that, there's no salvation, according to Acts 15.5 and these false teachers. And Acts 15.10, where uh, Kepha says, look, our fathers were under that yoke, and they, they couldn't pull it off, so we can't either. Uh, bondage uh, to impossible legal justification, bondage to ceremonial rudiments, lacking regeneration, bondage to the flesh, and, the, and those who preen in the flesh, all of this, uh, that's what we're talking about. So surely somewhere in there, you noticed maybe a little bondage that you need to get rid of today. And um, uh, Moshiach said, 
the one drinking the cup of redemption, in Dami, in, 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 uh, in my Kippura, has Haye Olam, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Bore Peri Hagafen. We raise the cup to the Lord, and uh, we say the 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 uh, Kiddush, uh, the Zaman Harutenu, which I just did, and then we drink from the first cup. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shaharienu. Uh, I'm sorry, Shehiyanu, Vakiyamanu, Vahigianu, Lazman, Hazeh. Thank you, Lord. Bless, blessed are, art thou, O Lord, King of the universe, who has preserved us alive, sustained us, and brought us to enjoy this season. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Then we look at the... Uh, the various elements. You have the Seder uh, plate here, and uh, uh, we have the. Uh, you know, it says in Exodus thirteen eight. It is, it is because of what Hashem did for me when I came forth out of Mitzrayim, out of Amen. Egypt. So this is our testimony. We overcome the devil by the word of our testimony. We, we're giving our testimony now. We came out of Egypt. And, and by the grace of God, we got Egypt out of us. And uh, this, this bitter uh, root we want to talk about right now. Baruch Hashem. Every year, I select the ugliest Maror, I can find the worst looking horseradish root, and usually it's a double, a double horseradish root because a double tongue is not what the believer should have. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And a double minded man is unstable in, or a woman is unstable in all their ways, and this root. I mean, we, we really love horseradish. Don't get me wrong. We love golds. But Paul said, don't let, Rabbi Shaul said, don't let the root of bitterness spring up within you that defiles many. So if you get bitter, I'm sorry, you don't have the full blessing of Hashem. If you're bitter about something, and you're really, really bitter, well, I'm not going to, congregation anymore. I'm not going to shul anymore. I'm not going to worship anymore. I'm mad at Hashem. I'm angry. You know, he can take that. But you can't. You can't. And so this root springs up periodically in our lives and we have to pluck it out. And so this is why we remember the maror, the bitterness Remember Naomi said, and Ruth, don't call me Naomi, call me Mar Mar Maror. Call me bitter, call me bitter. And she didn't know that if she'd praised the Lord right around the corner, she had the greatest blessing in the world to be a great, 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 great grandma of the Mashiach. So let's remember this, this Maror. And look at it and make sure you don't have one of these in your spirit. Oh, man. Amen. Amen. All right, so we're going to go to the next part, which is to wash your hands, but do not say the blessing. And uh, this is the Urahats. And we remember our Moshiach went further and he washed the feet and he said, Unless I wash you, you have no part of me. Amen. And then we have the carpas, where we dip in the salt water. The tears. And we remember, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Bore Peri HaAdama. We dip the parsley in the salt water, and we recite 
the blessing. Say it with me. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei peri haadama. Okay, we take that and then uh, we break the middle matzah. Now, this is very important because it's not the top matzah, it's not the bottom matzah. It's, it's the middle matzah and it's broken. And part of it is now put in a shroud and it's then, uh, you might say, buried. And it's, um, t it's actually, uh, it's, a it's actually hidden away and it seems to have completely disappeared. But then it reappears later uh, as the Apokomen. So uh, we wanna uh, do that. So we break the middle matzo, we wrap the larger half to set aside for the Apokomen. Then the next thing we do is uh, we do the work of the Magid, the preacher. The matzahs are lifted up and uh, we recite, this is what God did for me. Hallelujah. But you know what? He can do it for you. Can you say amen? Amen. And let all those who are hungry enter and eat. We do a homeless outreach the third Monday of every month. So we have Pesach, you might say, every month. Then we have the four questions. And we're going to ask uh, Jennifer, who may be the youngest among us, to ask the Man Nishtama. It's on page uh, nine. We want to read uh, those uh, five lines there in English. Okay, go ahead, Jennifer. Why is this night different from all other nights? All other nights we may eat either bread or matzah, but on this night only matzah. All other nights we may eat any species of greens, but this night only bitter herbs. All other nights we do not dip even once, but on this night twice. All other nights we eat and drink, either sitting or reclining, but on this night all of us recline. Wonderful. Now we're going to turn in our Haggadah all the way over to page 12. And uh, at Pesach, we remember our bondage. We also remember our release from bondage. And that through the death of the Lamb of God, uh, hallelujah. Uh, you know, the one who had the power of death, that is the devil. He was destroyed through the death of the Lamb of God. Hebrews chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. So we want to lift the cup and uh, we, we want to say, and this is the promise that has been our, our ancestors' support and ours for not just one has stood against us, but in every generation, some have arisen to exterminate us, yet the most holy and blessed always saves us. He always saved us. So we remember the Lamb of God who always saves us and always saved us. And, and he, the, one, the one that had the power of death, that is the devil, had to be, dis, had to be defeated. And Genesis 3.15 shows how that happened. The seed of the woman defeated the seed of the serpent. Now we want to go to page... 17 it says and the eternal brought us out of egypt with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm with great terror and with otot and mofetim with signs and wonders and we are we are pentecostals so uh this is a very important time for us as we think of the how god did this now we have to explain three things on page 23 the Pesach lamb, the matzah, and the bitter herb. The Pesach lamb was eaten. Mashiach said, unless you eat my flesh and drink the kapora cup that I have. Uh, we, we know the matzah, we see the stripes 
and piercings. And we're reminded that the uh, Ben Dovid was Talui al Haetz while the lambs were dying. And the dough did not have time to become leavened. And in the Orthodox Jewish Bible, it, it speaks about uh, being uh, not, uh, not, uh, it says, do, do not allow yourself to be leavened. Well, actually, I'm just going to have to read it because I can't uh, remember it. Uh, but I'm going to give it to you right now. In Galatians chapter uh, 5, it says, A little hamitz leavens all harbatzik, all the dough. And, uh, and so there's a warning here about allowing the leaven of pride to enter in. Then you have the bitter herb, which has already been, ex uh, has already been uh, explained, that embitters our lives. <clears throat> now I want you to go to page 26. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, bore pari hagafen. We drink uh, the, from the second cup. And then uh, it says, washing the hands. We remember how Pilate washed his So now we have the, the blessings over the matzah. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, ha'motzi lechem min ha'aretz. We lift the matzahs. We say this blessing. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al achilas matzah. And we distribute the top two matzahs and we eat. Okay? Go ahead. Then we have the bitter herbs. Uh, blessed art thou, uh, our God, our king, our king of the universe, who has sanctified us with your commandments and commanded us to eat bitter herbs. This is the commandment in uh, Exodus chapter 12. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kichanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu al ahilas maror. So we're going to take the bitter herbs, dip it into the harosin, and say the blessing and eat. Okay. Hallelujah. Open your little jar. Okay. Then we're going to break the last matzah, distribute it with bitter herbs dipped in harosin. This is the korek, uh, the the. The, the sandwich, break the last matzah, distribute it with bitter herbs dipped in erosets and and um, and eat. So now we are looking for the middle matzah, uh, half of which was broken and was wrapped in a shroud and hidden away and it disappeared and now it's coming back and we're going to use this afikoman for the Sudos Moshiach part of the Pesach Haggadah. Today I'm looking at Yom Chamishi Hakadosh. This is Holy Thursday. This is when Moshiach had his meal. The lambs would be dying. The Pesach Korban would die on the, on the following day. And he knew that he also would fulfill that scripture in Isaiah 53, 7. Like a lamb, he was led to the slaughter. So he was very much aware that this, this meal was, was partaking of the atmosphere of Pesach. 
The only difference was that the lamb himself was conducting the Seder. And on page 60, in everything you need to grow a messianic synagogue. Many years ago, 1974, the Lord helped me put together this, this pseudos Mashiach meal, this holy meal for this holy day, this holy Thursday. And I want to thank God that the book is still around and that I'm still around mm -hmm. and that I can still preach the wonderful glories of what the Lamb has wrought in the world. Amen. My brothers, that our ancestors were all under the pillar of cloud and all of them passed through the Red Sea. And so they all received mikvah mayim tevilah immersion into the havura of Moshe Rabbeinu in cloud and sea. Now I'm going to read it in Hebrew. Velo ahahed mikem echai asher avotenu hayu kulam tahat ne'anan kulam avru batok hayam. Vahulam nipalu limoshe be anan uvayam. This water prefigured the mikvah mind to be law of Mashiach to which you are now delivered to safety. Mashiach's to be law is not the washing away of bodily uncleanness, but the appeal made to Elohim by a clear conscience. And it brings salvation through the resurrection of Yeshua, Yeshua HaMashiach. V'zehu ot, atubila asher ka'et toshia gam otanu lo v'hasir tinuf habasar ki'im bish'al lanu me'et elokim ruach shalima al yedei hakamat Yeshua HaMashiach. Okay, keep reading with me. Page 60... 63. It says, they all ate the same supernatural food. Read it out loud with me. And all drank the same supernatural drink. I mean, they all drank from the supernatural rock that accompanied their travels. And that rock was Moshiach. And yet, most of them were not accepted by God, for the desert was strewn with their corpses. These events happened as symbols to warn us not to set our desires on evil things as they did. Vahulam achlu ma'acho erhad ruhani. Vahulam shatu mashke erhad ruhani ki shatu min hazur haruhani haholek im mahem vahas. Tur, Tur, Hahu, Haya, Hamoshia, Aval, Brubam, Lo Ratsa, Haelokim, Ufigrehem, Naflu, Hamidbar, Vahol Zot, Haita, Lanu, Lamofet, Livilti, Hit Avot, Lara, Kasher, Hitavu, Gam, Hema. It follows that anyone who eats the bread, say it with me, or drinks the cup of the Lord unworthily will be guilty of desecrating the body and blood of the Lord. A man must examine himself before eating his share of the bread and drinking from the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment on himself if he does not discern the body. Lahen mi sheyachol min halekam hazeh o yishte mi kos haadom shelo ha raui yasham laguf aroneinu uladamo yichan haish et nafsho vaaz yochol min halekam Vayishte min hakos ki haoho vahashoter shalo harui oho vashoter din 
Lenafsho Yaan Asher Lo Hifla Et Guf Ha'adon. Now turn to page 65. It says, Have you ever, say this with me, never heard the saying, A little leaven leavens all the dough? The old leaven of corruption is working among you. Purge it out, and then you will be bread of a new baking. As believers, you are unleavened Passover bread. For indeed, our Pesach has begun. The sacrifice is offered. Mashiach himself, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Halo yadatem ki ma'at se'or mehametz et kol ha'isa ba'aru et ha'se'or hayashan lama'an tihu isa harasha halo Lechem matzot atem ki gam lanu fischenu hanizbach ba'adenu hu hamoshiach. Se ha'elokim hanose hatat ha'olam. Lord, we confess our sins. Say that with me. Lord, we confess our sins. Adonai nitvadeh et hatotenu. And then turn with me to page 67. It says, If we confess our sins, He is just, and may be trusted to forgive our sins and cleanse us from every kind of wrong. Your sins are forgiven you for His name's sake. Ve'im nit vadeh et hatotenu ne'eman hu... But Sadiq leaves Loach Lanu et Hatotenu U Taharenu Miko Avon Nislahu Lachem Hatotechem Lamaan Shemo. Form your own judgment on what I say. When we bless the cup of blessing, say this with me. Is it not a means of sharing in the kapora of Mashiach? When we break the bread, is it not a means of sharing in the body of Mashiach? Because there is one loaf, we, many as we are, are one body, for it is one loaf of which we all partake. Mashif to Atem et Asher Omar, Kos Habracha Asher Anachnu, Mavarachim halo hi hit habrut dam hamashiach vahalechem asher anachnu votsaim halo hu hit habrut guf hamashiach ki lechem erhad hu lachen gam guf erhad anachnu harabim vasher lehulanu Helek Balechem Ehad. Now, let's hold up the matzah. Take the piece of matzah right now, and uh, we're going to pass these out. Go ahead and do that for us, please. Give one to everybody. Baruch Atah Adonai. Elokeinu Melech Haolam. Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God. King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. They all ate the same supernatural food. And we have in our hands right now uh, the, the matzah that the Lord said, This is my body, which is broken for you. And so we need to discern the body. So look at those piercings and look at those stripes in that matzah. This is like the afakomen, the middle matzah that was broken and put away and seemed to be gone and it seemed to disappear. And then out of nowhere at the end, it reappears. And that's what happened with his body. It seemed to be gone and then it came back. And, uh, and we know 
that when he says, this is my body, he's talking about Chaye Olam, he's talking about you. Uh, we know that no one with a curse has Chaye Olam, but if Moshiach takes your curse, uh, then uh, you have uh, hope for eternal life. And not only that, but if you take the, uh, the Moshiach's uh, uh, supper uh, frequently, and you purge out the wickedness. You repent. You you turn from the the, the, the evil thing in your heart, whatever it might be, uh, and you you don't hide uh, hide it. Uh, instead, you you confess it, renounce it, and forsake it. Oh, hallelujah! Then there's hope. Now look at this. Uh, look at uh, 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 page sixty nine. Uh, look what it says here. For the tradition which I handed on to you came to me from the Lord himself, that the Lord Yeshua on the night of his arrest took bread, and after giving thanks to God, he broke it, and he said, This is my body, which is for you. It's for you. Do this as a memorial of me. Ki ho ki balti anohi Mean ha adon et asher gam masharti lachem ki ha adon Yeshua balayla hahu asher nimsar bo lakak et halechem vayevarech vayitza vayomer kahu iklu. It says zeguf hanipsa. And then he says, Baruch Ata Anunoi, Elokeinu Melech HaOlam, Bore Peri Hagafin. He takes the cup. So let's let's distribute the cup. Before we do that, we're going to do this last uh, blessing on page 69. Uh, it says, Baruch Ata Arunoi, Elokeinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri Hagafen. Vachen Gam Et Hakos Achar, Vasuda Vayomar, Hakos Hazot, Hi Habri Hadasha, Badami, Asu Zot, Zikroni Baho Et Shatishtu. Then it says, the reader pours the, from the cup. He behold et shetoklu et halekam hazer v'tishtu et hakos hazot. It says, hazker tazkiru et mot adonenu ad ki yavo. For every time you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes.